Hey, yeah, on the couch is on the move. I'm out here in a nice park and I've shot some video for, uh, for the week ahead. But today I promised at some point in time that I'll chat with you guys about state and the importance of it when it comes to performance. And so for me, the, the key thing that I always keep in my mind when it comes with regards to state is that um, your state unlocks your skill. And so if you think of, uh, of um, the, the primary difference where I see this normally for cricketers is how well at times they play within a net or how, how the experience within a net environment is completely different from the experience of an actual match. And, the, and for me, the primary reason for that is the state that's different. Normally within a net situation or a net environment, cricketers are more relaxed, uh, can more easily focus on the task at hand, and this is due to primarily the fact that there's no consequences involved uh, with regard to a net session. So, um, we get into the match, and what happens in the match is all of a sudden there's the pressure, consequences is all of a sudden real. If I nick the ball here and I get caught, I'm out. We're in the net, if that happens, no worries, I keep batting. There's the pressure of the game situation, which isn't ne necessarily normally there within a net session, um, because nets I just hit balls because I, you know, or I may be working on a technical thing. And so because there's this difference in, st uh, and sorry, and then in within the match, what happens is that changes our state, right? Now we tense, um, we may be a little bit panicky, or we become a little bit more unsure of ourselves. And so because of that, because of that big state difference, you could find something like the skill of the player within the net, moving their feet really well, or from a bowling point of view, maybe going through the crease really well, Yet, in a match, all of a sudden, the follow-through stops. Feet don't want to move. And so, um, I think that, and I believe that, once cricketers understand what their best state is that they play from, and what the best um, internal experience it is that will serve them to perform at their best, once you know what that is, you can start finding ways to replicate that and become consistent with that. And so somebody like Dale Stain, and I, I, I don't know, right, I've never met the guy, but it's often said that he puts earphones on and he listens to music that's fairly aggressive. Why? Because that gets him into the state that he wants to be in. And once he's in his state, he can bowl more attacking lines and he can run up with a, bit, a little bit more pace and with a little bit more energy. And so because he's in that state, he can deliver his performances a little bit better. Somebody else might want to sit there and listen to some classical music because they feel they really just have to calm down themselves a bit more to get into their best state. Somebody else might feel like they have to go meditate and do breathing exercises or do yoga before they go play because that really gets them in their state. Other people need to sit next to the joker in the team because they get so wound up that the guy that makes a couple of jokes gets them to just lighten up a little bit and they must actually be more joyful when they go play. And so it's important for me for all cricketers to understand really that that awareness of what your state is and what your best state is and how you can turn it on and off that will take your performance through the roof no doubt no questions asked the players who who rely on their state and they're unsure about it and unclear about it those are the ones where we see the performances go up and down and all over the show today I feel like really good oh I make runs tomorrow I don't feel too good well I don't make runs last thought on state right your state is a combination of your thinking your feeling and your body so if you are trying to figure out what your ideal state is include all three of those components what am I thinking when I'm feel when I'm playing at my best what am I feeling when I play at my best and how do I carry myself how do I walk around how do I act? How do I behave? You figure all of that out and you start tying those things together, right? And you start figuring out ways to do that more and more and more and more. I guarantee you, like I said before, your performances will go through the roof. So here's to you finding your best state. Here's to you committing to the process of figuring it out and learning it. And here's to you performing at your peak more often, more frequently than ever before. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one.